Hello there my friend today I am going to show you how you can use react js to generate youtube thumbnails and images like this we will be using a brand new tool called satori and aws lambda let me show it to you in action so here we go so this is my channel called don't subscribe me yes but please subscribe me subscribe to this channel i'll hit create i'll go and upload a new video and this is what we are going to generate so uh, this will be automatically updated we have used a lot of stuff which you will have to keep watching to know more i'll just drag this thing this is a free cad design it's uploading and i'll show you testing it on a live youtube video uh, that's it it's still uploading let's give it a few seconds so as you can see now our video has been processed and it's now just checking so in the meanwhile i'll just put a thumbnail here so uh what should we put uh, 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 let's put this thumbnail in here and this is our thumbnail i'll click next and no it's not made for kids next 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 and i'll make this public and i'll hit publish all right guys so as you can see we have got this log so all we gotta do is go to this readme again and we will hit this refresh button and see if it has worked or not testing it on a live youtube video it it did not work why because there is this cache okay so if we do control shift r and then c uh, do we get this linux penguin and we should see yeah there we go and now if i go back here so uh, i'll have to refresh it again you know the github cache is uh, how i have done this so first we will look uh, at satori which is by versal there is this guy shooting and uh, he is building this thing and to play this thing how this works out what uh, satori does is it converts html into svg or react code jsx into svg you can say and here i'll open this playground so that you can see how you can use this code to generate svg so right now we have this svg this was the live video which i put here so everything is there and here you can see this is the code so we made a div and all this there are some gotchas for you in there so you need fonts and all that stuff and here like you can see you can make such cool gradients here and uh, i don't know what to say about this uh, it's there is limitation but yeah this is this is really a great progress you don't need puppet here you don't need to spin up a browser to like uh, convert html or react code into an image you can also convert this into png so you can use this resvgjs and this is a png file so if i open this image you can see this is a png image right and you can also convert this into pdf so do you know how cool this is lot of people create invoices using puppeteer but now the elimination is gone you can do this on the fly without using any you know browser inside your server and all that stuff this is just pure pure javascript and you can also generate this there is something weird happening here but yeah it it works you can convert spg into anything there are other libraries and tool which you can help so i built this uh, thing with so i have just done this image uh, implementation and be sure if you will use this on your browser which you should not like if you are making something but then you won't be able to import third party images because it will be blocked with cors error as we all know so there is this like it's it's really cool you can go here and you can also embed emojis and stuff and you can also use tailwind with it that is pretty cool so actually versal made this thing for their graph og graph the social banner you see when you share a link stuff like that but this is really cool and handy tool and i will be publishing the source code of whole of this thing and how i have done i will be diving into deep diving into the code 
So what I actually have done is I have AWS Lambda. So to get updates when we push a new update, like to get update when we push a new update, what we have to do is this Google Pub Sub Hub Bub, whatever it is. So yeah, we go here and if you want to do it manually, it's it's really bad. It's slow and uh, it doesn't give you a lot of information, but yeah. So here you pass the callback URL. So the callback URL will be this thing, uh, whatever your webhook URL is. So uh, right now I have these lambdas. So what they do is they are connected with API gateway. So when you make a request, like it gets invoked and I have two of these Lambda to subscribe and unsubscribe. What happens in pub sub hub after like five days or a week, you will be unsubscribed so that you can't receive videos notification. Okay. So that you have to keep subscribing. We will dive more details into another video. So be sure to subscribe to the channel not just this pub sub hub. Okay. And uh, here I have this cloud watch. So let me show you how everything works. I have this invoke thing and I have the channel name, a uh, channel ID in the environment. So that's it. No, that is not it. And uh, how these lambdas work is I have used this Satori uh, and it was not working because of like you have to bundle and all that. So there is this Wasm version as well. So this is how you use this thing without JSX as well you can use. But yeah, just compile React code into JSX and like pass it to this, okay? That's that simple and here is all the properties so you can use this text font flex. So everything needs to be flex in here and you can do all this typography and different different fonts. You can use any font in here and uh, here is this wasm thing how you have done again there will be next video for this and also to update the readme what i have done here is now uh, let me go back and it is this still here but the readme says and you say this commit message so i have used the octo this allows you to make requests on GitHub. So you can use anything. You can just use the rest APIs as well. And uh, what you will have to do is I right now I am fetching this readme and latest video. So in readme, the link also gets updated here. So if you click on this link, it should take you to this video, which is testing it live on YouTube. So isn't it pretty cool? So we are updating a lot of stuff in here and uh, why there are two redirects i'm not sure and here uh, you can see the title also gets updated so how i have done is done this is like i fetch this thing i convert it to a string then i use regex and i have put some identifiers in here so if you go and open the readme file and see the raw thing so as you can see here I have this ID latest video link and again I am selecting this and updating this again we will look into the code later part and yeah that's that's it this is how like whenever I am going to push a video uh, the possibilities are endless with Satori as you can see like what cool stuff any images you can generate whether be it SVG, PNG, S, PDF, JPG there are a lot of tools web assembly is just just amazing and uh, yeah that's it i think this i just want to give you an overview like what i have built here and what you can do is create a newsletter subscription something like this for and like send them this youtube thumbnail with this thing so that they can click on this and it's it's just the uh, idea is really cool like i i will email this thing embed this thing in an email so I have a list like I can have a list of all the subscribers in a dynamo DB with their emails and uh, yeah and I can just send all the emails via SES whenever I receive a video and this is CloudWatch so I am logging everything here so if I have to unsubscribe this thing and I'll just uh, make it unsubscribe so I invoke the another function called unsubscribe okay 
let me add uh, create a new tab and I'll do AWS. L okay, so there I have it. Just some commands and if I subscribe to this again, what happens is PubSub sends you a verification as well so that your endpoint is working. Then only they will send you all this uh, YouTube updates else if it fails. So I have done this and if I do rest.json, you can see I subscribed successfully and here in the log, I should see challenge verification sent. So it means what happened is this whenever I go in this PubSub hub and I do the subscribe, it just triggers their backend and their backend sends a verification token to my endpoint. And what happens then is I need to reply back with that token. So then our like this thing gets successful. Uh, now let's see if I update this thing again. I am also using AWS CDK to build this whole thing. So testing it on a YouTube video live. Let's see if it updates, okay? And I'll hit save. It takes a while to arrive, so you can grab a popcorn, but no, I'll just skip, skip. Fast forward, okay? So guys, we have got the log. As you can see, it says generating thumbnail, thumbnail generated. Let's see if it, thumbnail generated for let's see if it updates. There is this title fetching thumbnail and readme data. Then again, it fetched the data. Then it is updating the thumbnail. It updated the thumbnail. Then it is updating the readme. Then it updated the readme. And then both the response got 200, 200. It's just an update, man. So it tells you if it is an update or it is a new video. So you don't wanna be sending an email to all your subscribed members when you just update this title of the video, right? And I'll uh, refresh this thing again. So I'll hit Control Shift R and uh, see, let's see if it updates. It did, it updated, perfect, cool, amazing. And in the commit message as well, updated read me with, let's see if it updates. So that's it. Uh, I hope you like this idea of generating things previously we had to like install some stuff or like if we wanted to convert html into like svg it will be really lot of work to just build this or like any binary tool it's it's just a lot of work so i just wish to see you in the next video bye bye tada take care make sure to like share and subscribe